you wish your RV had more functional space? Stay tuned, Home on the Hitch. We're searching uh, the mighty Redwoods to find an RV with function. All right, so just looking at the side of this redwood, absolutely gorgeous. The graphics are absolutely beautiful. You can always tell quality when you walk up to it, uh, pretty much. And this is probably the one of the highest quality fifth wheels with attention to detail uh, that I've seen. So we'll start here in the front. Uh, and it does have this mo ride box. Moving on over, giant area here. It's got a Furion uh, automatic transfer switch built in. Uh, Xantrex Freedom 2000 inverter. Got an area for the generator right there. Thick insulated baggage doors. I'm gonna find our numbers here. Cargo carrying capacity is 2,634 pounds. Unloaded vehicle weight is 15,206 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating, 17,900 pounds. It's just gonna ride on dual 8,000 pound axles. And you're gonna see when we get over there that there's not much to do uh, to upgrade anything over there. We do have a ZAMP solar port right there. This is going to be one of your two 30 pound propane tanks. Again, thick insulated baggage doors, slam latches. These are, it's not uh, full body paint, these are stickers, but they do look nice for sure. Now we're going to walk right back around here to the other side and show you something that is just absolutely amazing. Or I think it is if you geek out on stuff like I do. So. Stand by, let's take a look. All right, when I talk attention to detail, this is what I'm talking about. Manufacturers pay attention. All right, so looking at this garage, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, check this thing out. F finished absolutely beautifully. Water manifold, electric distribution system, all the, the Furion controls, vacuum. It's got the garage type floor in here on the front wall, it's got like this display board uh, where you can just hang everything you want to on hooks. And there's your heat vent, the ceiling is finished. Everything in here is finished. Absolutely the way it should be done. Checking out under here, it's all your hydraulics for your leveling. And again, these thick baggage doors. And here's a look at that garage from the other side. Opening's a little bit smaller, but next to that, you have your separate, yeah, yeah I said it, separate water bay. It is closed off from everything else, even with a rubber gasket. Nautilus uh, water system, electric leveling is up there. It's all separate. Everybody should do it just like this. All right, there's back of a furnace right here, but you can't hardly see it because of the way they've done the graphics and the stickers. Everything is beautiful. Moving on down this uh, slide on the front of the driver's side, that's a Schwintec slide. This bigger slide over here, that's gonna be a rack and pinion. 
All right, down here, uh, you can see one of your level up jacks, but you've got your uh, sewer outlet is down there as well. All right, manufacturers, Saloon tires, 16 inch H rated. That's right, H rated tires with the Moride LRE 4100. Not a thing to do to this thing as far as tires and suspension. This back corner's got your uh, 50 amp powered core grill. You can tell about a lot about the quality of something on how it's trimmed out. Ladder up on the back. Now both these slides over here on the uh, passenger side are gonna be rack and pinion slides as well. Yeah, it looks like everything's frameless windows. Uh, giant awning up there. Stretches all the way across the front of this thing. And this thing is a beast. Water heater right here. Again, it blends in really good. All right, so one thing that we really did like about this um, is this solid door here, the solid entry door. Number one, it's pretty wide, I, and I'm pretty sure that's wider uh, than normal. It's got the Moride uh, step above, solid steps, but check out the door again. Makes it look very, uh, I don't know, class A-ish. Um, don't know what to call it, but we really do like it. Big uh, grab handle here, and this is the Redwood uh, 4001 LK. So residential living, uh, climate comfort. Well, if we get down the side of this thing, you can see kind of get the shine that this thing has on it. The finish is amazing. Hi, Hi. welcome to my new home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, is in love with this thing for sure. It has, it has a lot of really great features. It does. Yeah. It's, you can tell by looking at it that a very they high really quality. Kind of thought, they thought yeah. this out for sure. Yeah. So it has a 30 inch convection microwave. Absolutely gorgeous. 22 cubic foot residential fridge that has an interesting little feature that I have not seen in any. RVs yet. It has a water dispenser inside the fridge oh, so that you cool. can have filtered really? chilled water. Yeah, that's pretty I've never yeah, seen that. That's really cool. And I like it that it's not in the door, yeah, you know. And then you have the your fridge. controls at the top. Yeah. Um, it has this great slide out Big freezer. freezer. How do you keep it closed when you're traveling down the road? It has these straps that connect oh, all well. crisscross. Very nice. So it keeps the door shut. And of course, you know, I'm going to love this stove because it's a huge four burner cooktop with a giant oven that you can put your turkey in. That's a big oven. Or your husband. Also a big oven. How about the counter space? What do you think about that? Man, check out this counter space. Like you can do all kinds of things in here. There's a counter space everywhere. It's got, looks like it's got actual. It's vented. Yes, it is. And it's nice. It's stainless steel. So on top of these, this great counter space, it has um, soft close doors and drawers. But this area is great for like all your baking and coffee bar yeah. and whatever you want to do. It has all these great drawers that pull out. These are like good quality drawers. But there are cabinets absolutely everywhere. I mean, you could there's there's no reason why you couldn't put all your stuff in here. And I love the decor, the lights and the antique tin. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you the one thing that I don't like about this kitchen. What is that? That's this window. Uh -huh. I like the window, but this window treatment over it just overpowers the window and I'm kinda like, Makes what's the point? It's small. Yeah, right. yeah, there's not a lot of, not a lot to do to, that you can see out there. Yeah. Another thing, attention to the detail is the crown molding that they put around the ceilings throughout this whole coach. It is really a very nice accent piece that just makes it very homey and high-end. It definitely feels very residential um, in so its construction. The slides are seven feet tall. Wow. So that's, I mean, that's that's pretty amazing that you could stand in, up inside the yeah, slide. Yeah, I could stand in the entire slide. Um, it has a theater surround sound. There's a big subwoofer behind the love seat here. Really? So this is the Williamsburg Furniture Collection, and it has um, a theater seating okay. and um, 
seat warmers and the kitchen slide this is and you can see it from here um that that kitchen slide usually the slides that have the fridges and everything in it are not flush floor slides that one is not uh, but the slides that are here in the living room are and they just have they don't have carpet they have this like outdoor mat material the the dinette has a leaf that pulls out nice. and folds up and then there's two extra chairs in the closet that you can pull out. There are USB ports um, near the couch area along with um, light switches. And I think I, I read that it has three air conditioners or it has three zones. Okay. Um, so that it is better climate controlled. Okay. One of the accents that I like about this brig is that it has all this backlighting throughout the whole unit. Right. So um, you have a lot of lot of light that's in here, but it's soft light and it's not so harsh and in your eyes. And then you have this cute half bath that has all of this incredible storage in here. I mean, just cabinets for days and it's useful space. Don't Check out the, the large medicine cabinet right okay. there. Oh yeah. One thing that we forgot to mention that while we're taking the video is that the kitchen the living room are not accessible with the slides in. Um, so if that is a deal breaker for you, uh, you might want to look somewhere else. You do have access to the half bath. That is correct. Uh, it's not a deal break breaker for us because we kind of have the same situation with our current rig. And to be honest with you, we've never had any incidents putting some slides out uh, in the Walmart parking lot while we were doing whatever and then put them in at night when we sleep. So not a big deal. Real quick, this cabinet by the stairs uh, has your power control system, a digital pad that controls everything in the RV, it looks like. And above that is just a storage cabinet. But everything in here is soft clothes. Um, so this is a nice size bedroom. This is a king size bed and there's room to walk all the way around on both sides of the bed. On the side of the bed, you can see I still have room to, to walk around and here's a CPAP and um, there's an outlet on this side and on that side too. So you can um, raise the head of the bed and lower it. It's a little there. loud. Yeah, but that's nice. Okay. So this is my side of the bed, so in the middle of the night, I can just raise, raise it up. Bah. Because it has the motorized bed, mm -hmm. it does not have the storage underneath gotcha. the bed. But it does have drawers. Yeah. Ah, voila. Yeah, how drawers amazing is that? Drawers under the bed. All right, so in the bedroom, you have this unique feature of two hanging cabinets that have little slide out pulls so you can pull your clothes out so you can better find them right has this lovely little countertop area and i like that you can see outside mm -hmm. while you're still laying in the bed we're using a 360 camera two today uh to film this walkthrough we're going to put it on our community page for our hitchhiker members uh to see if you want to join that Go to our page on YouTube, Home on the Hitch, and click join, but you do, you've got to do it on a desktop. Top right there, flip up. Yes. Yeah. Ow. That's the it bites. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, they continued the detail of the crown molding all the way back into the bathroom. Yeah. Or nice. actually, I should say the front because this is the nose. So I do love the shower. Um, it has a teak seat in it that mm -hmm. folds up and down. It has a solid floor. Um, it has the rain shower head and Very also nice. a wand so that you can you know, just shave your legs. It does have prime poop in position with yep. a porcelain toilet. Very nice. Is that on the teak seat or the... On, oh yeah, don't poop in don't, the... Don't poop in the shower. No pooping in the no shower. No pooping in the shower. All right. So this um, this bathroom has a lot of storage space also with the two double sinks like that, that. Are, that are pretty deep. Keep her out so of my these stuff. Are, these are nice deep cabinets. So the greatest thing about this bathroom mm -hmm. is the, what's behind this door right here. What is behind that door? Okay, Mel? so let's see. 
Uh -huh. Look at this amazing walk-in closet. Beautiful, I bet. Let's see if we can see everything in here. So it has your washer and dryer hookups. Okay, where's that at? That's there over here on this lift. side, yep. All the way to the other side. Like This is a true walk-in closet. Like Thomas is standing up like and still has in. eight inches. Always good to have an extra eight inches. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> when you're talking about quality, you pay attention to things like this right here. And that's going to be the simple hookups for the washer and dryer. Typically, you get just little plastic on and off valves. These are actual residential uh, washer and dryer valves. Controls for the Max Air mm -hmm. fan, which are right there. Yeah. Very nice. And although it is not perfect because nothing is perfect no fifth wheels or no rigs are perfect <laughs> this one is a high quality rig it was built with intention uh, to be of higher quality and it definitely checks a lot of boxes yeah. it is going to be 161 uh, 236 161 thousand 236 their asking price 124.9 so I don't think that's too far off a and, lot of the industry stuff. So. Right. I don't think that's an unrealistic price. Yeah. Not for, for the amount of stuff in this rig. So I hope you enjoyed that video on this Redwood fifth wheel. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Uh, so all the details about it, uh, link to it will be in the description below. Uh, so check it out there if you have any further questions. So when you're looking at fit, these RVs, uh, Look for the quality. You gotta pay a little bit more, but hey, it's worth hey, it. Hey, it's all worth it. Yeah, absolutely. So until next time, take care of each other, love each other. And make every moment count. See you next time, guys. Time look. The Mighty Redwoods. The what? The Mighty Redwood. <laughs> Mighty Redwoods. Tiny Whiteys. Had lots of function. All right. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to do a cold stop and see if we can find an RV with some function to review. Hold on, let me just... What's your function junction? So, don't go anywhere. We're going to the mighty Redwoods. <clears throat> and then to the mall. <laughs> and then to the mall. God, what is your problem? You're like not even I'm in the right. Add to it. Oh, now she's stuck and she's like pissed off. See, just, yep, quit trying. Mighty Redwood! Might it be Redwood? Mighty Wood! <laughs> Mighty Redwood! <laughs> Give me some hot chocolate and doo doo doo. Hot chocolate and doodly doo. <laughs> yeah. I don't want any doodly doo in my hot chocolate. Doodly doo.